Hi guys, Demius Art here. Welcome to the first episode of How to Draw. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw Daffy Duck. And it should be fun. Uh, it's going to be a fairly long video. Hopefully, you guys can stick with me until the end. But in this video, I'll be showing you guys all the techniques I use to draw, how I build up my drawings. And I am using a pencil. And that way, it will make it easy and clear for you guys to actually see how I do it. And I want to show you guys how I do the lines without doing the lines, how I line things up and all that stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoy the series and we'll be able to follow it along the whole journey and be able to watch this video until the end. And if you guys do like this type of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and yeah, share with your friends and family as well uh, if they're interested in art. But yeah, hopefully this video is very informative and helps you guys out with your drawing. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, I've already drawn two lines. I'm working on a beak. Right now I'm doing another line because it's somewhere. It lines up to something. And I've said this before in some of my previous videos, something always lines with something else. It's not always the case, but most of the time, what you're drawing can line up with something else in that drawing. I hope that makes sense. As you can see here, I was working on the beak and then I was working on the eyes and they, they both match up. Also down here with the bottom of the beak, it also lines up with the bottom of the eye. And so just different things match up with different things. And hopefully with this pencil sketch that I'm doing right now, you guys can understand what I mean. So basically with this thing, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a pencil sketch of the actual image and I'll be lining things up of course and then once I've done that I'm gonna take a black fine liner I think it's 0 0.2 I'll probably end up show I probably will show you guys the pen in the video and that's what I'll be using to go over it and then once I've got over it I'll color it in with my ballpoint pens of course and then after I'll probably cut it out and stick it onto a color piece of card card cardboard paper not cardboard but card paper yeah, I think that's what it's called. Piece of card, but it's color. Color card, yeah. You know what I mean. That's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I used to do this a lot when I was younger. When I, back when I was a kid. I used to really enjoy it when I started drawing. I used to... Mm, also, I was drawing from the age of eight is when I really got into actually art art. But from the age of around... Yeah, so around nine, ten is when I started drawing cartoon characters. I was like, cutting them out, sticking them on card. It was good practice and it also made it easy because with cartoons it's very easy to notice mistakes like because obviously they're so basic and simple shapes and if it if it's off you will notice so I used to do that a lot just to practice getting things in line getting things in order just knowing where to put things so this video is based is for beginners but it could also be for advanced people it's good practice uh, till this day I still love doing these type of things although I don't share with you guys I do do it on the side just for fun and yeah I just enjoy it but it's great practice as you can see here I drew another line lining up the hair with the bottom of the eye face you know, type thing yeah just lining it up well, most of these lines are gonna go straight down or horizontal and I don't really do curved lines and all that stuff to match things up. It's always straight up, down, or yeah, horizontal. So now we're finishing off the beak, but we're gonna have to line up the mouth first. And as you can see here, his mouth is a little open. I'm about to do my lining thing again. Here we go. See the bottom of the eye lines up with the mouth. I've sped it up a little bit because I don't want you guys to sit here forever. This is, this is a little bit faster than normal pace. But you can pause it if you want to. If it's going a bit too fast. Again, also, if you guys have suggestions on things for me to draw, make sure to put in the comment section. I read all the comments. And yeah, also the more likes, the merrier. So make sure to hit that like button. It always helps. And yes, we're done with the face. Now we're gonna move on to the neck. So 
So as you can see there, what I did was lined up the corner of the eye all the way down to the corner of the neck. Yeah, so you see three lines, vital. So hopefully you guys are there with me. And now we're gonna move on to the body. I am adding another line to line things up. Boom. Let me know if I'm doing a little bit too much talking. Then again, I don't feel like I need to talk a lot. I think you guys can just watch and be able to follow it along. But obviously there's certain points where I need to explain what it is that I'm doing. So if I don't talk that much throughout these videos, don't feel like you need for me to talk. Um, but I will be talking when I need to explain myself. I feel like there's certain things that are just self-explanatory where I don't, yeah. So I'll be doing that. As you can hear, see the line's not really straight. It's a bit to the side, but this one is straight. See? There we go. And now I'm doing this. Yeah, I don't feel like I really need to do much talking here. I feel like a lot of this drawing is self-explanatory. Whereas, yeah, I just don't feel like I need to say much. I think you guys can just watch it and follow it along. Obviously, you can see with the lines and stuff, how I line things up. But if you guys do have any questions, make sure to put that in the comment section as well. I'll try and answer that in my next how-to draw video. I chose the image where Death Duck is folding his arms, so it's gonna be a little bit complex, but that's part of the reason why I chose this image because I wanted it to be easy but not too easy. Obviously, you wanna challenge yourself, I wanna challenge you guys. So, I can obviously, if you guys send me your drawings of this drawing, if you guys do end up doing it, doing what did I just say? If you guys do end up doing it, I can see where your falls are and where your, well, well, as we say in London, slacking, where your, where your skills lagging and I'll be able to critique that and tell you guys where you need to improve on and stuff like that.
I ended up not recording the bottom part and for that reason I yeah I'm sorry about that but here I'm finally going to draw the feet and then once the feet's done that's when I'm going to be working on the outline doing it all in black to make it look smooth and then like I said at the beginning once that's done I'll do the coloring part also if you want to use a ruler you can use a ruler to line things up <clears throat> I didn't use a ruler just because yeah I've been doing this for a long time but if you're new use a ruler and make sure you have a rubber and just use a standard HB pencil then yeah and try not to draw the lines that like don't try to try not to press that hard because you do want to rub out the lines after once you go over it with ink so <clears throat> don't press too hard Now that we're done with the outline, we're going to use a fine liner to do it. Airline 0.2, acid free, illustrative graphic design or drawing pen. And as you can see, the nib is very thin. And with this one, I advise you guys to do each line like one time. Don't do it like a bit by bit. Try to do it in one stroke. That way it will look cleaner and it will just look good. Just like the way I'm doing it here. I'm trying to do every single part in like one stroke and yeah I don't want to bore you guys anymore so I'm going to fast forward it until the colouring part. So now I'm moving on from the outline to the colouring part. I'm going to use a black stapler pen and an orange stapler pen. And again, I don't want to waste your time, so I'm going to fast forward it to the process of me cutting out the image and stick it onto a colored piece of card. Here's the final image and I'm now going to cut it out leaving a little white border and then I'm going to stick onto the colour piece of card. I decided to go with green because obviously green is my favourite colour and the reason why I leave the white border is because it makes it stand out a bit more. It just, yeah, just looks good and it looks like a sticker type thing. So I'm going to show you guys the end image after I speed this part up because yeah, you don't really need to see it and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment share and subscribe to dmus art i'm dmus i'm out peace and as always thank you for the support